BP and the Renault F1 team share a technical partnership and that partnership involves uh, BP creating bespoke fuel formulations for the Renault F1 car. Fuel is fundamentally critical to the F1 car. That's where all of the energy comes from. The engine, the airs units are all very intelligent ways of converting that energy into, into movement, into, into power. But without the fuel, the car cannot leave the garage. Modern F1 fuel regulations are there to try and make the fuel that we're developing more road relevant. So in the past, it was all about generating a fuel that would give the most amount of power. But with the new fuel regulations, they control how much fuel you can use during a race. So all of a sudden you have to develop a fuel that will not just give good power in the engine, but it will also make the engine run very efficiently so that we can get to the end of that race. And that's in line with how we're trying to develop fuels in the real world. In the past, yeah, there weren't so many regulations around the fuel and people could come up with some really creative fuels that weren't so road relevant. In total, a car is allowed to use 110 kilograms uh, throughout the course of a race. For the same mass of fuel, if you cool it, you will be able to put more, more fuel into the same volume and the FIA regulate that as well so at races the FIA will let the teams cool their fuel by 10 degrees below the ambient temperature. The team in BP are constantly working very, very closely actually with the, with the engineers in theory to develop new fuels for the car. And we'll always try and bring a new fuel whenever we do a new engine upgrade, for example, because we can test the new fuel on the new engine, on the dynos, before we bring it to the track. There are limitations, so uh, the FIA regulate that you can bring five fuel formulations to a season. Whenever we go trackside, the FIA will take samples out of, out of the car at, at any given time during the weekend. It's, it's at random, actually. so that you can anticipate when they're coming and put something in that shouldn't that should be there or shouldn't be there. So the FIA will, will come and sample sample the car throughout the weekend to make sure that the fuel in the car is exactly what you have stated it, it will be and that that is an approved formulation.